Hi guys, this is going to be for Scorpio. Um, I'm really excited to see what the messages are because I am a Scorpio too. So let's see what's in store for us. What are the messages from Spirit? Uh, please, dear God, help guide us in the right direction. Give us the most important messages for Scorpios. All right, control right off the bat. So is someone trying to control you? Are you being too controlling? Um, are you trying to control a situation that you may need to let go of? You know, if it no longer serves you, it's going to hold you back. But somewhere in their control is in your energy. So you need to take a look at yourself or those around you. Um, but no one else can control you, honestly. They can try. And if you allow it to happen, that's, you know, manipulation. But no one can control you. Ooh, I love that we got this card because this is our card. Look, see the scorpion in the back? <laughs> love it. Says, that's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> All right, let's see. So then we have, so you may be feeling like that bitch right now. You may be that bitch right now. Like you got your shit together. Your energy is on point. You are clear headed, clear minded about what you're doing. I mean, I feel like that's accurate for me. I feel pretty good right now. Um, we have spiritual bath. Some of you may need to do some cleansing, some healing. Um, so work on that if you need to focus on that. Yeah, because we have tension. Are you guys stressed out here about something? Because you're trying to control this situation? You know, be careful. Because Scorpios, you guys are so powerful. See this? bad bitch card like you guys are so powerful that um sometimes you guys can have power in ways that like other people just don't have because they don't know how um but since we are so tapped into our subconscious and um the darkest part of ourselves because scorpio is a very dark sign um so we're more connected to that like so sometimes I feel that we can try to control or manipulate situations because we can, honestly. But, you know, um, try not to do that because, obviously, if it's not aligned with the universe, then, um, you know, it's not going to happen for you. Certain things are... Don't get in your own way. Don't get in the universe's way of bringing you things. We have to allow that energy to flow. We have to trust, right, in the universe that it will bring you what you truly deserve, what you truly want. You know, let go, release, let it flow, heal, okay? So we have your ex is back, communication. Some of you might be getting a phone call or a text, okay, from somebody from the past. It's an ex. Oh, God, I know we don't want to hear that. No. <laughs> well, some of you might if you still, I don't know, though. I'm getting the vibe that you don't want to hear from them. And I know Scorpios are like, once we're done with somebody, like, that's it. Like, we're done. Okay, let's see. We have Yoni. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself down there. Um, this is the part of the body that is um, is Scorpio, right? The genitals. So if there's something going on there, there's some sort of, you know, sensitivity you need to take care of. Um, give it extra attention. The cat. <laughs> All right, we have heartbreaker. Are you guys being a heartbreaker? Or a player? No. Oh, we have major jealousy. We've got a hater in your energy. And deleting feelings. You guys don't give a fuck, though. Okay, so... Lituation, the bottom of the deck. I feel like sometimes I read this card as addiction or avoiding issues, but honestly, here, I'm getting this hint or message that, like, it means go out with your friends, have fun, because... I don't know. Sometimes it's good to just let loose sometimes, you know? 
All right, let's get some messages from this deck. This is for Scorpios, please. Spirit guides. What are the most important messages for Scorpios in this situation? Definitely have some drama though, some haters. I'm not coming back anytime soon, long wait. Okay, interesting. Because we do have the ex's calling card, right? So is this you guys that you don't want them to come back? Mm -hmm. You don't want them to come back? Or uh, someone is playing games here, like acting like they don't want you back when they do. I'm getting that vibe too. Let's see, what else for Scorpios? I want to get some revenge. I'm testing you. Uh-oh. So someone might come back in um, just to mess with you. Just to try to get you back so that they can get revenge on you. So be careful with that energy. Because we have third-party situation. So someone has somebody else. Someone is playing games here. Okay, we have move in with me. I'm a Virgo. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Haters talking shit about you. I know that's right. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's see what else. Slowly coming in to approach you. Someone's trying to um, plot or scheme like how to get you back. I'm feeling like. Um, because. You're the best I ever have. Damn. I have a secret I've been keeping it from you. I'm going to clarify that. I'm going to sweep you off your feet. Feeling forgotten. I feel like you don't even think about me ever, which we had. Wow, there's definitely someone who's going to try to get you back. Could be an Aquarius. That at the bottom of the deck. Someone is plotting or scheming different ways on... How they can get back into your life. But I feel like this person is immature. Because of all these like. Egotistical games. That I see here. Like they're going to try to. Um, play around with you. Like they just want to have fun. I don't know. I'm not really getting bad. That bad of intentions for you. But just like. They just want to like. Like, you know when you have a crush on someone and you're just dating around and you just want to have fun? It's kind of that vibe, like high school vibe, kind of immature. But I don't feel like there's any ill will. Um, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Okay, let's see. What are the tarot messages for Scorpios, please? What is the tarot for my Scorpios? Uh, five of Pentacles. So this person definitely feels abandoned by you. They feel like you just left them out in the cold. Like you were playing games and you were too good for them. And yeah. They want to come back in. They want to start a new beginning here. The Ace of Pentacles. Um, they want to try again. They're holding on to you. They're not going to let go of that Four of Pentacles. They're trying to act like they don't care, like they're too good for you, or they don't want anything serious, but deep down inside, they have not forgotten about you at all. I feel like you guys are just focused on yourselves, though, your own path. You're not really worried about this person, or any relationship right now, for that matter. You're just working on yourself. So, we have the Ten of Wands. Um, yeah, this is like what I'm just saying. Like, you're not... You're not burdening yourself with this situation. You guys have totally put it all down. Like, all the issues that you guys had in your relationship. You're not sitting there worried about it, thinking, how are we going to get through this? Like, you have literally let go and released all of it. And you guys have just, like, moved on. See, we have your card up next. Scorpio card, the death card. You guys have transformed your life. You have done a whole rebirth like oh my god how is that full or not full moon? 
new moon because wow that was powerful for me like energetically I just felt so good I felt like I started again I feel so refreshed that's what this is the death card it can be a rebirth you put an end to this situation and moved on with your life and you just bossed up like you glowed up with that sun on the bottom of the deck you guys are shining you're just expressing yourself you do not give a shit about this situation or this person from the past okay yeah we have the strength card so it might have taken you a lot of strength to get over this situation or to pick yourself back up you know but you did you healed the temperance the bottom of the deck could be dealing with the Sagittarius let's see strength card that's Leo too could have Leo in your chart I have a Leo moon so let's see eight of pentacles yeah see what did I say you're just working on yourselves you guys you're working on your future building yourself you do not care about this anymore and that's what is probably attracting this person back right which is usually how it goes ring ring your phone's gonna ring now that you're focused on you, you're focused on yourself, on your coins, your pentacles, boom, this person wants to come back in. But you guys are like, I'm checking out other options, that seven of cups. You're like, I got a bright future ahead of me. I don't want to limit myself. I got everything in front of me right now. Like, I don't need this crap from the past coming back in and ruining it for me, taking away my new options from the future. Okay, you guys are excited to move forward, move on with your life, and you deserve that, especially if this person wasn't mature enough or didn't give you what you wanted from the past, you know? Let's see, what are the messages for Scorpio, please? What are the messages for Scorpio? Lightning. So it says, sudden change, shocking, news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval transformation wow powerful which you know Scorpio is the sign of transformation let's see what else I'm getting the feeling that you guys have really you guys have really surprised this person you have blown them away like they literally they took you for granted they did not think you had it in you for some reason they thought you were like a dumb bitch and you were just going to be hung up on them forever and you like bossed up and moved on with your life and they're just blown away like they're shocked they're like I thought I had Scorpio all hung up on me and they were never going to get over it <laughs> it's probably because I feel like we do that a lot uh, to people like Scorpios because we're so like loving and passionate and loyal we just throw that on people right away when we um, first meet them and we fall for them. We just give them everything. And we're so intense. And they've probably never even had someone love them like that before. And we overwhelm them. And so they just think, oh, psh, they're going to be here forever. And then when they fuck it up enough, we're like, nah, I'm good. I'm out. <laughs> and we just get over it. And we cut it off. We move on. And they're left there tripping. They're like, what? I thought this bitch would be like hung up on me for life. And we're like, yep. No, I'm gone. <laughs> so we have mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflects our wounds. So be careful with, you know, if you're judging them, that reflects on you, right? Everything is a reflection. Um, it says, I like you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting. So, and seduction at the bottom of the deck. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference. So I'm getting the vibe that, I'm not really getting the vibe that, well, there could be a third party, right? We saw that earlier. They may have someone else, but I don't feel like you guys really care. But I feel like with these two cards, there is a potential here for you guys to start something new and meet someone new and start dating. So make sure you get out there, especially if you don't want to be with this person anymore. Just move on. Check out your other options. Sorry, that Seven of Cups. And um, yeah, 
So let me know, comment below if that resonates. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Please hit the like button and subscribe, okay? I'll see you next time, bye.